Today, I'm gonna to run you through a comparison of the Defender 130 and the Ineos Grenadier. Let's get them on the road. I'm out in the 130, and again, this is the first time that I've driven one of these. Initial impressions, it feels great. It's, it's very much the same, or feels the same as driving a 110, despite the size of it and the fact that I've got an extra 19 inches of car attached to the back. It's very refined on the inside as well. It feels like I'm in a 90 or a 110, and, and that's what I like about this. You, you couldn't really tell the difference when you hop in these cars but you, very, you know you're in a Land Rover, you know you're in a Defender. It's got all the bits from an off-road perspective that you'd need as well. So when you do take this across country, you've got the areas to grab onto when you're scaring your passengers. And it rides really, really well on these 20 inch WX4s. On these off-road tires, it's perfect. This is the D300, which has got more than enough power in my opinion. It feels really smooth, it delivers it really well. But for those of you that need a little bit more, you can get it in a V8 which I don't think it needs, but it's good fun nonetheless. Right, now this is my first time driving an Ineos Grenadier and straight away I know I'm in an off-road vehicle. This is incredible. All these buttons, it's so very analog. All of these switches, it feels like I'm in an aeroplane. Like this is the Boeing equivalent of an off-road automobile. The steering box on this car quickly makes you realize that it's nothing like driving a Defender. This is so much more off-road focused doesn't snap back when you're coming out of a corner it just stays there with that said this BMW engine is very smooth they do it in a petrol and a diesel variant and picks up really well nice smooth gear changes I quite like this inside's a lovely place to be these Recaro seats, which come standard on every car, very comfortable, very nice driving position, got a lot of visibility. Being coil suspension, it's not that comfortable on the road as you would expect from a road car, but that's obviously because it's so heavily focused towards being off-road. But it does lead me to think that perhaps in the future, once Grenadier look at releasing a newer model or a new, a new design, maybe they'll start to offer air suspension at that point. All in all, a very, very good effort from a first time manufacturer. I'm very impressed with the Ineos Grenadier. Now, first impressions, very much an off-road orientated vehicle. I mean, we've got mountain points, we've got big wide fenders, jagged edges, and uniform WX4s like we do on the Defender 130. Now, as I mentioned before, this car comes with two different BMW engine variants, a petrol and a diesel, and there are five different model derivatives across the range for this car. The rear legroom isn't exactly generous, but the Recaro's in the back make up for that. They're very comfortable, it's a lovely place to be. Now, in typical British fashion, it's starting to rain, but let's get on with it. Now, the 130 is 19 inches longer than the 110, and visually, you do get the additional overhang at the back of the vehicle. It really doesn't feel like there's been much compromise in the third row of the 130. I've got nice comfortable seating, I've got padded armrests, I've got a USB-C charging port, I've got a panoramic roof, it's nice, it's airy, it's light. It's just one of those places you don't mind having to be. With a third row of seats up, you are a bit limited on space in the boot. You've only got about 389 litres of space to utilise. However, with all the seats down, you get a gigantic 2,300 litres of space, which is enormous. So if you're in the market for one of these vehicles, it will all come down to if you want something that's specifically for off-road use, that handles well on the road, or something that handles fantastically on the road, and can also go off-road when you want it to. Now for me, 
The Grenadier is a replacement for the classic Defender, whereas the new Defender is a more adaptable vehicle for on-road use. If you want to see any more videos on the cars we featured today, click one of the videos in the link below.